Welcome to the Beer Den Podcast. Tonight we'll be drinking Water by Fuji. everybody welcome back to another episode of the beer den podcast my name is ethan hoopy and i'm michael larrow tonight we're drinking water by fiji right off the rip it pours very clear like translucent can see yeah. completely through the glass yeah and there's one thing i noticed about this one is that there was little to no head on it which i found kind of disappointing with this Flavor wise, there's there's not much to this. It's almost as if it were just water. Aroma wise, it it's pretty flat. Like there's not really much of a scent at all. There's no sulfur or any other minerals or anything. It's just yeah. I was expecting a bit more sweetness, but yeah, it's, it's just it's, not there. It's just natural flat water. What do you think of the taste? I, I thought it's very clean, very refreshing. Definitely something that like would be good on a hot summer day. I would also say that it has a very low astringency. Uh, it's definitely not drying at all. Mouthfeel-wise, it's very smooth, very soft body to it. And it has a very short finish to it. It kind of dissipates the, any flavor there. It just dissipates really quickly. Definitely. Uh, and no, no carbonation at all. Oh, yeah. We base everything on three criteria here. We have quality out of 50 points, value out of 25, and design out of 25. Quality, the smoothness and balance of this was just exceptional. And I got to give this a 45. Wow. You really liked it. Yeah. I, there's nothing better than a nice cold glass of Fiji water on a hot, hot, on a hot summer day. Just, I can't think of a single time when this wouldn't be appreciated. Yeah, no, I I totally agree. I thought it's definitely one of the smoother uh, drinks that we've had on the show. And, uh, and I think just the fact that it's so refreshing is unparalleled. So I ended up giving it a 43. I think that's a solid score. Value wise, this came in at 249 for a six pack, which you, you can't literally, there's nothing cheaper than that. You can't beat that for a six pack of anything. I've got to give it a 25. Like you just, you absolutely, when it comes to any beverage. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that at 249 is such a good price. I don't know of any drinks that we've had on here that have been anywhere near that. So yeah, I I ended up giving it a 24. Solid. A little bit about uh, Fiji water. They actually bottle at the source in Yaquara, Fiji. It's actually all natural water from remote islands over 1,600 miles away from the nearest continent where tropical rain slowly filters through volcanic rock into a, like a sustainable ancient artesian aquifer. Wow, that's definitely unlike anything else that we've had on here. Design-wise, I gave this a 24. It is a little bit lacking on the front label. It is translucent so that you could see any defects that are in the water itself. So... I feel like it could have had a little bit more flair there, but it does have where it's bottled at. It has when it's bottled, when it expires or the best by date on it as well. It has the pH balance, which is 7.7. One thing I also didn't like is it does have some scratches on the side of the bottle, um, whether it's rubbing up against other bottles or what, I'm not sure, but I think it does kind of take away from the packaging, but it is in a nice, unique bottle as well. Yeah, it's kind of a shame to see uh, all the scratches on the side. It's probably from uh, transport or something like that. I was actually really impressed as well with the bottle design. Um, I ended up giving it a 23. I really like the description on it. The fact that it has the pH clearly labeled on it. And I mean, really the fact that it has both the bottle date and the best buy date gives you a clear indication of how fresh 
it is you're going to know what kind of quality it's at like yeah i think especially going from source to table you really know what you're getting with it yeah no i totally agree and like you said to the uh the front label I think that they, they they left it very blank. I think there's a lot that they could have done with it to give it a bit more personality. And, you know, especially with, you know, all the different types of drinks that we, you know, review and stuff, you see some crazy designs. And for them to go with such a plain design, I think it's just such a missed opportunity. Right. One thing that they did do well, though, is they have, like, all the shades of blue. And especially with it being water, like, I think that really goes with that theme so i think they did that very well but even like the the fiji name i think they could have been a little bit more creative there but it was such an overall good product that i can kind of look past that yeah for sure all right so overall that's a 90 for you ethan and a 94 for myself altogether that's a 92 out of 100 for fiji water hey everybody thank you for listening to another beer den review Don't forget to follow us on social media. Links down in the description. Subscribe, like, and share. And if there are any beers you would like us to try out, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you on the next episode of the Beer Den Podcast.